Day three of the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship, a day when uh, most of the leaders found themselves playing the same course, the always challenging Carnoustie, and the weather conditions, I'm afraid, cold, wet and windy. It was a tough old day. Robert Carlson from Sweden played very nicely indeed at Carnoustie. This an eagle attempt at the 14th. Carlson in the end would shoot a 76, which was pretty well par for the day to finish at three under par. Back at St Andrews, John Bickerton and his amateur partner Bruce Woods and Watson lead the team event. Bickerton in with a fine 70, two under on the old course. Now Tong Chai Jaidi of Thailand, much more used to the hot and humid conditions of Asia. Must have been really difficult for him today, but Jaidi played beautifully. And although he finished with a bogey, it was an excellent round for Jaidi at 72, four under par. But what about Padre Carrington? He won the Open here in uh, 2007, and today an excellent 74, just two over par to finish at four under. He's two behind. Magnus Carlsen, another Swede. That's Carlsen with a C, not Carlsen with a K. This excellent birdie at the fifth at Carnoustie on his way to 73 for five under. And Yarmo Sandelin, who is once again in danger of losing his two rights, his playing card, made a big step forward today. And a 72 for six under means that Sandlin shares the lead with the promising young German. Well, he's more than promising now. He's won two tournaments. Martin Keimer. This is tee shot at the short 13th. He mastered the conditions as well as anybody did today. A fine 73, just one over. And Keimer very much in contention for another two win. Playing with his brother in the team event and with his father as his caddy, it's been a real family affair. And despite the deteriorating conditions, Keimer finished very well indeed. So it's Keimer and Sandelin leading at six under par. Magnus Carlsen one behind. Podrig Harrington is just two back. Final day tomorrow at the Old Course in the Alfred Dunhill Links.